All right, I am tripping live, but doing a mic check. Let's see here. All right, cool. My mic is up. Also, have a cat. <laughs> Being a sweet pie. Oh. Not yeah, just gotta wait for peeps to show up. Alright. Ah, it's nice to get back to this game. No problem. <laughs> I hope I don't end up uh, being flung into the sun again, but I mean. I mean, like, I think I saw something on the sun, though. Um. If slow on my end, but I am okay with that for now, or I'll give it a bit more before actually starting up. Just um, oh yeah, I'm guessing you can uh, hear me, right? <laughs> Just gonna yeah, all right. Here, no, if I'm no, if I'm worrying about if I can be heard, let me. Test it again. All right, cool. Just want to make sure uh, that 
that first prey stream is going to haunt me for the rest of my days <laughs> of just spending my time, you know, trying to narrate and, you know, be dramatic and, like, commenting and, you know, like, oh, man, what's this? What's, hmm, I wonder what's going on. And then just my mic was muted the entire time. Heartbreaking. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh. All right. Yeah. But, you know, if you can hear me and excuse me while I'll take a, a sec to drink some water. Yeah, no, that was nuts. Oh, but let's, yeah, let's get, let's wake up and, okay. That's the, yeah, I can't tag something. That'd be tight. Um. Yes, I was thinking of that's Giant's Deep, if I want to try to explore around there to find out what that is, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, howdy. Can't really, uh, unfortunately I can't really see what that emote <laughs> is. But, uh, hi there, Sand Dolphin. But, yeah. Um... Yeah... Oh, I am... I have plenty of opportunity right now of places that I can go visit. I still need to go to Giant Steep. And this horrid place in which I hate. But, I mean, I've been spending so much time on Ember on the, uh, the twins. The Hourglass Twins, that's what they're called, yeah. That I think I will... I uh, go here. There's more to explore. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more to explore in the Sunless City. That was useful. locations. Uh, caves, yeah. I could go back there. High energy lab. Uh, there's a lot I could go to. Well, I mean, you know, starting top you know, methodically going through the uh, Sunless City may not. Oh, I, I was talking about the caves earlier. Let's. Uh, mark. Let's head over there. Yeah, insomnia does suck. I should probably look where I'm going. But, ah, I'm sorry that you're having, uh, trouble with insomnia, but <laughs> thanks for, uh, being here. That Whoop, I almost... Wait. Oh, no, that's just... Wait. Wait. What? No, wait, that's... that's normal. And did I forget how to play this game? I mean, that's not impossible. Right, this is normal, right? I uh, I don't remember this. I don't remember. Yeah, I. Weird. I 
don't remember it having a giant crater. Like... Also, let me turn my lights. I mean, apparently it does, but... I mean... I don't remember it... having this. Oh. <laughs> uh, I know that feeling, unfortunately. But, uh... I found a research note from Chert. Property of Chert. This is the old, uh, uh, old crater. Wait, that was the voice I gave Chert. Kind of measly. Uh, this is an old crater. The The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Oh. I'd posit the Alterok was hit by a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system? Interesting. So... Thanks. Let me... Prep the impact site of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Okay, okay. Just want to... Can I pick up this? Just having a... A stick with a pointy... Just having a pickaxe would be a boon, honestly, in this game. Like, please. <laughs> Weird, I don't remember. I guess I just somehow never saw this. Uh, oh, well, I guess I found what was there to be found. Oh, yeah. Wait, I have an axe as part of my kick? Okay, I do. Then why can I use it to... You know, the, um, you know, what am I thinking of? Um, uh, yeah, when I was trying to get into the Sunless City, the, uh, <laughs> the, the cactus, I was just like, well, I can't, I can't mess with this cactus. It's, it's too strong. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you. Um, gosh, I am... I have completely... Just not playing it for a few weeks has completely destroyed my ability. You. I see you. I don't think I don't see you. Little sun station. Mm. Mm. I think I may be too late for what I want to do, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm too late. Yeah, it's filling up with sand. Welp. You know what? <laughs> a person less easily distracted may say, oh, there's still the, uh, the whole business of the... of the, uh, what am I thinking of? 
the business. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Wait, what are you orbiting? Also, I almost got annihilated <laughs> by the ash twin. going to explore the, uh, <laughs> the cave, but instead, we're... we're uh -huh. tracks. Autopilot. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, let's get back on track and look it to that cave because it's... I was able to see that my ship can fit in there and I'm pretty sure that my ship will won't get buried under the sand. I hope. Mm, toasty. Yep. Let's let's get my suit. Don't want to forget that. Uh, let's just go. I will. Twins. Number twin. Alright. Gonna do some high flight. This is actually at the core of the planet. Hello. <laughs> you know what? Um, out of all the ideas I've had, this is probably the worst. But, uh... Let's go. Let's do it. Let's... <laughs> Hi. Okay, this is the core of the planet. Okay, I was hoping it'd be something more interesting. Damn, I probably am too late yet again. Alright, so I'm at the equator. I need to find north. Um... I'd assume that if it gets split in half, then, uh, it has a bad time. Let's go! What? Just dunk myself straight into the hole. Um... Uh, 
I'm gonna die in here, aren't I? No pressure. When was I- where was I going the right way? I- it was very unclear. Because, like... Wait, was it- aha! Uh -huh. Oh wow, this is actually incredibly expensive. up here so I'm guessing I have to go into the uh, sand zone. Oh boy, that's <laughs> that's a lot of sand. I think the sand looks somewhat appetizing. You know what? You're... You know what? You're not wrong. It does kind of remind me of, like, salt. Oddly enough, like... Seething salt, of all things. And I just came from there, didn't I? I think so. Uh, did my... Oh, okay. What? <laughs> yes, dear. Way to go. Come on. Look, don't judge me <laughs> for having <laughs> some uh, issues navigating in dark, weird caves. And also going to die. I wish there was a tree down here. Oh my goodness, this is a- Oh, this cave is weird. That cactus was... Also... Whew. Let me <laughs> pause for a second. Oh, that was stressful. <laughs> uh. Uh. don't want to lose sight of this damn, damn thing. Can I 
crouch. I just want to read. <sighs> okay, so let's pause for now. Are there any words or oh yes? <sighs> okay. Um, well, alright. If you come here to look for Colaris, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. For what happened f before uh, Colaris disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I r recall. I recall Calais standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. I was taking notes and my lantern died. When I uh, lit it again, Calais and the rock were both gone. Your, str your strange Wandering Rock friend is here. Though, Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed the unusual-looking rock shard, and several sm smaller rocks, in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. Coleus observed this unusual-looking rock shard, and several small rocks, in at least two other caverns. I want to look, but it kind of disappeared. Um, what are you talking about for maximum fun? No, I... Let's... Yep. Chris Warnell's looking at a box. And then, oh, <laughs> drop the lights and carry me home. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stop putting the light back on. Look! Stop complaining that I'm trying things out, you know? I'm the one playing the game here. I'm, I'm the one losing track of objects that do or do not have ob uh, object permanence. Like, you know, and I'm not the one doing that. That wasn't me. No, don't judge me. Hello? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> yeah, no, they they weren't doing that. I hate that. I very much hate that. They weren't standing.
I hate that. <laughs> Let me drink some water. A different cave? Um. Oh, I should get some more oxygen. It's just that things keep doing that, and skeletons keep standing up. Also, this is how they looked standing, huh? Except they had fur. And also, things keep moving about 120. Stop that. Do I still have a way back to go to? And I love how you're... But, yeah. Suck. And also, I guess, uh, give me. Where did Coleus go? Reproduce. Um, give me a, a sec, y'all. Like, I am f trying to figure this out. <laughs> and if. I don't know, part of it feels like y'all. You know, y'all want to help, but it kind of feels like it's like you're trying to push me into the solution when I haven't. Well, I, I'm still trying to puzzle it out. So, like, yeah, like, where? This is where he vanished. Two days now. Largest one was taken out, and then my lantern died when the light goes out. And I lit it again. These rocks, uh, these rocks. When light changes, they disappear. That's kind of the main thing I'm getting from this is that I know what we learned from the museum shard is that whenever uh, they're watched you know depending on that that affects if they uh, stay around or not but yeah here's just examine the different rocks and I recall Clay standing on the largest one I was taking notes and then my lantern died. The 
So, your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Claes isn't. Claes and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure this is relevant. I mean, it feels incredibly relevant. I'm guessing that, like. Oh! Okay, and, uh, you know, you know, obviously I've noticed that, stop that, that this entire cave has weird macro quantum fluctuations, whatever. I guess... Oh, it's starting to fill up with sand. But, okay. Now that I've, you know, said that, and also, I've it's not like I have noticed that this is uh, affecting with the light, but I don't know, like... Because I'm wondering if I can... Okay, wait, no. light here eventually dies out. I think I probably... <laughs> but yeah, if y'all have more to say or anything, I guess... Like, it's not like I didn't want help. I wanted to, like, start puzzling out myself first before just being uh, poked, because it's not like I wasn't noticing that this whole cave is weird and everything is affected by this uh, macro scale quantum mechanics of like the same cactus was blocking my path in different paths. I mean, I still, I was hoping, I noticed that sometimes the uh, the light would dim out. I was wondering if... Like, if I stood on top of the rock and then let the, uh... The, you know, while the light dimmed out, I would be, like, transported with it. Oh, yeah, you mean the crunch? Oh yeah, no, that crunch is incredibly terrible. <gasps> it's great. Also, yet again... I think that's the first time I ever noticed that my ship's CPU kind of deal does that. Gone through a gauntlet to get there and just try the signal scope. There's more to explore here. Look, I, I figure... I figure... It's where sons of death, yeah. Uh, we can find that cave shared in the other dark caves on number 20. Yeah. Yeah. Let's...
There's that sun station again. What? Eventually, I need to land on it. I'm surprised I'm not dead from that. The ship is incredibly hardy, all things considered. Um, where's that cave? Where's that cave? I mean, you say that as if I'm not actively wanting to uh, poke it. Where's the um, the? Come on, where's the? I was hoping to see it marked because I kind of forgot where it was. Because I know you can get to it without going to the Sunless City. That's how I first f I found it way before I went to the Sunless City. I just don't know. Where it is. And also, I wish there was something, <laughs> some uh, juicy secret from uh, going to the uh, core of the planet or something. Oh, yeah, there's that big thing. I forgot what it is. Uh, there's the warp. And thanks, dear. Oh, I should wear my spacesuit. That's absolutely vital. Um. Yeah, it's just a uh, good habit to do in this game. And also... Just, just always refuel. Um, there are easy way to get there from up here. I need some weird nonsense. Probably. This incredibly dangerous for no reason. Perfect landing. Alright, quantum cave. So let's go... Oh my goodness, it's 2, 2 a.m. for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, No, that makes sense. What? Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, my hypothesis is that... Great. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> ah, what was my hypothesis? Um, with that. Okay. Coleus was on the rock. There was a light, or there's a lantern. She's looking away when the lantern died. 
from after taking her notes, and then she looked, uh, when she turned it back on, I feel like I should f be able to warp with this. Because I know that if I were to not look at this... Okay. Okay, let me... I wish I can look at my notes while exploring, because I don't... Okay, Glorious... I could read that, but I would definitely lose my notes. Hmm. What does the scout all oh, the scout emit emits light? situation. Glass is weird. Um... There was no light. Or the lights came back on. Or no. Am I jumping... Am I jumping the gun a bit? Scout goes with the rock when I look away. And it will come back, regardless if I have a light on it. Also, I need to find some oxygen. Um, great. I wish I could look at my... Hmm. I did park my ship close by. I, my short-term memory isn't great, actually. Um, 
notice a strange wandering rock that appeared in one of the caves along the Bedouin's northern hemisphere. I found a rock shard that moves when I'm not watching it. It emits a signal on the quantum fluctuation frequency. A the employees was standing on the wandering rock when another Nomai's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Calais and the rock were both gone. Hmm. There's more to there's definitely more to explore there. Um When they relit the lantern and the rock were both gone. And the rock were both gone. The Nomai Square arches are pretty? Yeah, they are pretty. I'm just trying to think of what am I trying to test out here. Because I've thought... Also, I, I kind of just wish I had uh, the archive of the text that I've read. They're both gone. Hmm. I mean, I can make it disappear. That's not the issue I have. Oh, hey, um, that's unrelated, but I found something Shirt would want to know about. I think, uh... Oh, too. I take it this is uh, first launch. I have a question for you. Why are so many stars going supernovae? <laughs> I have no idea. Massive stars go supernovae when they reach the uh, the end of their lifespan, so it's possible that stars are older than we realized. Or maybe our models are wrong and they don't live as long as expected. Honestly, I'm not fond of either option. If our charts are wrong, uh, what else is wrong? And our son. No, I, I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. I, I'm pretty sure I'm probably overlooking something. Mm, that's it. I just need to collect more data. I found something. Oh! Oh! Now it's in chat. Uh, Clayus was standing on the water. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I found you. Yeah. Did you? I hope they were useful. The uh, planet I mentioned may have uh, been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, like a uh, much older giant's deep. It's hard to say. It used to be fi the fifth planet in our solar system. I'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. It's in its place is uh, Dark Bramble, which, how to put it, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the, cent at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely, and its shards were flung across space. Oh, it was doing kind of nasal. Uh, some of those shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Alterok, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. Oh wait, that's okay. Wrong thing. Yeah. But um, but yeah. Uh, 
Um. Alright, I got terribly, terribly distracted, but. I mean. The planet where Giant Steep was, the Ghost Matter. with a third at the end. What are you talking? Well, let's see here. The planet where giant deep... Uh, you mean Dark Bramble was? Oh, yeah. And what are you talking about? There, I mean... Oh my goodness! I forgot that my own... Uh, I'm... Silly. My own... <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> I forgot my own headlight. Um... I mean, the planet... Solar system had at least two celestial explosions with a third at the end of the process. Cool. I mean, yeah. Um, anyway, I... Let's see here. Malare. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Uh, because of your unique color and texture, it appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? At the North Pole? Place. An update. Malari and I went back to the lake, be uh, lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. We plan to re-examine the, the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Um, Malare. Calais! Oh, Calais is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave. The one at the bottom of the dry lake bed. At the North Pole. Several days ago, and we're unable to find any traces of him. I don't know how much air he had uh, when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Calais. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, technically things would be much weirder. Different ways. Also, am I in? Yeah, I'm in a different cave. Yeah, totally. Hi. You stop that. You horrid. Did this give me a short... Oh, I just realized something. This kind of effectively gives me uh, another way. Uh, what does it give me? It gives me another way into the lake bed. Because... Okay, and it... End of three. Yep. This gives me, uh... A way to scout around. Also... Not scout around. To... Try to get to the weirdest one. I guess, if that makes sense. Because... If... Ow. <laughs> Let me just bonk my head on literally everything. Just literally... That's oh, here.
Okay, now I, I very much appreciate the heads up about the sand that... Um, ex excuse moi? What on earth was going on with my scout? Back at the other one. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Uh, can I leave here? I don't think I can. I hope I can. Yep, nope, I'm screwed. Well. Um, no, I'm screwed. There's too much sand. Literally everywhere. I was getting up. Yep. Oh well. Um. Yep. I, you know, I kind of wish there was some ghost matter here. <laughs> to be honest. Crunk. Yeah, no, that's that's a good term for it. But okay, so I kinda have a shortcut to um Okay, I was wondering if that would do the crunk faster, but uh, I guess not. I don't think it is. I think that I wasn't fast enough for the fourth location. But yeah, I, I don't have to worry about doing my boots. But now it, this, okay, now that I've realized that the thing messing up my experiments was my own headlights, I just kind of forget that they're there most of the time just because it feels like it's not enough light, to be honest. I just like it. I use it and I'm like, man, I wish I just shoot out my scout so much because it's like, oh, I need more light. And I just don't have enough. And I forget that, I'm like, oh, I actually have headlights. It's just, I wish they were brighter. And also, ugh, here comes the crunch. And you're fine there. I understand I was complaining about being pushed before, so yeah, just kind of up to sense. But yeah, I honestly, yeah, I appreciate being, like, just straight up told about the sand situation. That said, I find it interesting that I was able to shoot my scout at the shard, and because I didn't have my lights on, the, uh... And that shot off in a different direction this time. Uh, what was I about to say? Uh, because I was shot off. What am I thinking about? What am I, I thought? Um, first, I want to check in if any homies oh, here have any cool things to say. That's supernovae. One of the... Yeah, no, that that's fair. That that makes sense. I have seen their skeletons and it's fuck <laughs> Hey Hornfells. Uh
Okay, and this always has the lights on from this. Okay, so you don't really get a chance to really poke at it. Baby fish. Yeah. I mean, it, it cute as baby, but not cute as thing. Though, because of earlier experiments, and not early, uh, research, or finding research from the uh, Nomai, I've discovered... Yeah, I found out that they're blind. So, like... I've seen this before. Here lies seen Aramaki Redinger. Oh, are these the uh, forever binaries to send them more? Huh. I'm guessing this is people involved with the uh, the game who passed away. Huh. Now you know something extra about the Babby Anglerfish exhibit in the chart experiment. Yeah. That they react with light. What? Oh, no, I'm going to die again. found this grave and like oh it has like like you know like usernames or online handles and stuff and like oh man that's sad and then just gets annihilated from this lift again just because it has no I, I keep walking into it assuming it's already down at the bottom though I guess there's no reason to like assume that Anyway, uh, rumor mill. That mode. Wait, do I. Have I not. have anything on the Ash Twin yet? That's weird. I've been on the Ash and Twin. Like bed camp. Yeah. Crunch like that. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't worry. Slate is properly traumatized from the crunch. Ugh. Anyway. There's more to explore. Okay, no, I should go back there. Especially since I know how. I think I know how to do it faster. Wait. Let me do this the smart way. What I want is a quantum cave, because that's closer to get to. And we escape the gravity well. And then... Try heading there and not dying from gliding into the sun or something. Yeah. Three days? I mean, 
I, I believe that. Also, God, I am so glad these things don't actually have to mess with uh, gravity. <laughs> Gravity in any real way? Not gravity. I mean, they do deal with gravity in real way. I mean, uh, uh fuel. But oh boy, we're playing incredibly fast and loose. Just incredible amounts of fast and loose with, uh, You can run out of fuel? You, sh you sure? Okay, I think I'm in... Fourth location. Uh, now I can wait for it to pop up again if I think it was missing. Uh huh. How curious! This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if my, if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems to be the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. Meaning, I must be in complete darkness. I'm, I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Malar is here now. Oh, Malar is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with the quantum, that quantum object and they move together. My friends! Calais has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, if he does learn something useful from it. Wait. Wait. Hmm. I need to consider this. If... We found the skeletons of the peeps while, I mean, in the cave trying to look for him. Right hand to blank. <laughs> um, right, and in some times the skeletons were standing up while the others, they were like lying down and the placement of the light switch was different. And I'm wondering if we're in like some, uh, you know, like different, like, uh, great. I forgot the actual term I'm looking for, but you know, kind of like timeline kind of deals? Where, like, where, like, uh, um, place where I want to be. Come on. Is the sand too high? No, there's... I don't see how the sand could be too high. Okay. Um... That just leads to, uh... The outside again. I'm not that far into ground, I think. Mm. 
Ah, the museum piece. Wouldn't you want to show this off? That doesn't mean it's Mars. Could have been someone else's. Now I... you're... Mm. True. You have a point. Also... You know, I heard this. Hey, that was weird. But also, I'm trying to get to, uh... What was that? Hmm... <laughs> Oh yes, I was... I mean, it may not have been Malori's you know, uh, skeleton or anything, but I mean, everything in that cave just kind of shifts about. Yeah, that was very cool. I'll, I, I think I'll probably clip that or try to... but okay oh yeah I was trying to no this is just I don't think down to the oh you're right the light is on ah the light is on in that cave that sucks also I love my style of exploration just, I will chuck myself <laughs> at things. Catacle exponence action. Catac <laughs> Catacle. <laughs> Come on, carry me back home. Is this place I want to be? Yeah, it is. Also, do you lead somewhere? this cycle, uh, this is kind of a bust. Also, I can run out of fuel? Where? How? Do I even have any? I'm not seeing any, uh, fuel. But, um, Now, let me check my ship log. I mean, I need to get back to the lake bed. I was hoping that, yeah, the light is on there. Hmm. Which makes me wonder about the uh, quantum moon. But um, also, the lake bed. Yeah, I guess I can try rushing back to lake bed. And for next cycle, I forgot to check my notes. Beatrice. Lake Bed Cave. Okay. Oh. Uh, to travel with a quantum object, I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings. Calais uses quantum rule to escape the cave he was trapped in. Calais and Mallory return to examine the rock. They theorize that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object, it ceases to observe his or her surroundings. That being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they both move together. There is a free look mode when you're buckled in. Okay, so I, okay, so that's yeah. I found out there. Path from the Sunless City. I mean, I 
guess messing around with the Sunless City sounds like a good idea. But first, there's a free, free look. In there. I'm. I am moving the camera without any movement. No dice. City sounds like a uh, good guess. I'm trying to see signal scope. I could have sworn I've. I could have sworn I poked. I, you know what? I could have sworn I know what you're talking about. That I've seen a free look. Well. No, I see it now. It's D-pad. What? It's D-pad of all things? Ah, so there is a free lock. Yeah. I mean... I mean, it's useful while flying, it's just kind of weird. Um... Also, where am I looking for? Ah, it's on the city. Um... So I I my flying is hellacious is <laughs> just off. <laughs> it's just horrendous. Um, oh no, I'm at the wrong place. Uh, where am I looking for? Again, I know it's a big structure. It's where the gravity cannon is at. Oh, there you are. Not get dunked on. So I'm not seeing any fuel. I'm not seeing. Like, do you mean the ship can run out of fuel? running out of fuel makes sense. I totally believe that. Look. Let's see if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, that's ghost matter and bad. Not bad. I mean... When I first saw it, I thought it would be bad because, you know, shards of, like, gems and stuff. I mean, like, the idea of that uh, being incredibly painful makes sense. Oh, if the fuel tank is ruptured. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot this is also time sensitive. Also, I should turn on the lights. Carry me home. No, 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 no. 
no. <sighs> and thus, I've been spited once again by the While I'm in this outrageous place, Happy. yep. I don't know. I mean, if I sold rock candy that looked that like clear, maybe. Also, um, I guess I know what I'm gonna title the stream after <laughs> the stream when I archive it. Just gonna call it uh, Captain. <laughs> no, like <laughs> uh, astronaut crunch or something. Uh, it keeps happening. <laughs> oh, I'll crunch. <laughs> Goodness. Goodness gracious. <gasps> <sighs> yeah, we're, we're gonna poke these on the city, because I think... What I was supposed... I learned what I was supposed to learn, that I have to not observe things, which... I mean, okay, it makes sense for video game stuff, because, like, they were very focused on gravity and all that, so that's more than fair. Um, you entries, Sunless City. <laughs> Captain Cron! <laughs> Excuse me. Explore the Sunless City because I, I kind of want to have a planet almost completely explored. Because, you know, I've been kind of hopping around a lot of places, like, including the, uh, what's the name of it? The Interloper. Like, I've already explored that fairly early on. <laughs> Uh, jazz be <laughs> uh, jazz being pretty surprised of just like oh I would just immediately explored that and figured out what's you know all going on there before like anything else they're not before anything else but like really early. Okay, yeah, that's the, the thing that's blocked by cactus. Why can't I just... Then again, realistic, realistically, it would take a long time with just a hand tool to just, like, open all that up. Oh, that looks cool. Um, what are you? Overlock. Stick zone. High energy. Oh, 
Oh, pretty. High energy lab. You had to be fast for this one. There's no ghost matter. There's plenty of cacti, which is rude. Let's see here. together big to get for the what oh to like walk across it you mean I think spookies Just in this game, waiting often feels like a terrible idea because of just like so many things being time based. So it's the idea of having to wait before uh, going through naturally sounds bad. Well, I mean, there's some pressure. It's uh, the pressure that happens when I uh, walk on the cactus. I mean, that's pressure. So many cacti. If this was a different kind of game, I'd be there. To be... Well, that's some... Some sort of upgrade to my suit. <laughs> <laughs> like, so that I don't get bodied by cacti so badly. Uh. And this should be my goal, but, like, you will literally never know. No pressure on your squishy head. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you know, you sometimes just never know if you're gonna grab into, like, some ghost matter. Huh. Hello. Hello.
I'm greeted by the dead. <laughs> yeah. Remove warp core. What? That's. Looks like this. I forgot what they were doing at the high energy lab. Let's. Okay, God, there's so much to read. Uh, let's start bottom up. What? I don't know what that. No idea what that did. Uh, let's read. All right, pie. Records show Novi arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Rami and I are uh, devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simply machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the, the Black Hole and exiting the White Hole at its destination. Initial uh, initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Interesting. Hypothesis. Remy. Hypothesis. Um, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. It could. A lot of lore in the high energy. Yeah. An update, no, oh, Rami, an update. Our experiment here produced the anomaly in arrival on departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eye. Huh, interesting. And, hello, um, chaotic, <laughs> chaotic. Took me a second to recognize how to pronounce that. Um, to this end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Rami. Yarl said, um, Yarl. Yeah. Yarl suggests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. Yeah. Pi, all available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. Pi, this is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Huh. So, uh... They did it. We did it, boys. Time travel. So this is the giant solar panel. Oh yeah, this is giant solar panel powering the whole city. It said focus on the solar experiment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the... Rami. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it actually sent through the warp. What if this disgusting experiment? I mean, yeah, no, they're taking power from the whole city just to, like, hey, can we time travel? Then again, I mean... Then again, <laughs> I feel like, uh... I mean, it might have been practical, though, in the, uh, scheme of things, but 
Remy, we've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Pi. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Remy and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology to be able to handle such energy. We would also uh, likely need an enormous space to fit this proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. Uh -huh. And the uh, Remy. That's pie, Remy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. <sighs> pie, my pun was unintended, Remy, so I believe it's you who's aeriform. Currently unavailable. Sun. Some thousands of potato batteries. Get it? It's it's not currently available, and they're 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 messing with time. Eh. Uh, oh, is that the dark bramble? Hmm. Also, there uh, we go. God, time travel fun. Anyway. <laughs> Bye. The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers like the one we have on the White Hole Station to connect the Ash Twin direct uh, route? Oh, this is someone else. Okay, what if we use the warp towers like we have on the uh, to get Ash Twin directly to each crit, uh, critical location? Clary, Poke. Uh, Alright, yeah. Po uh, Cla er, Clary, Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. The Black Hole Forge? Okay. Sick. Oh, wait. Uh, Yarl, of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. Errol, uh, my gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been su uh, su <laughs> sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. Can we design each tower to visually reflect its warp? Uh, to visually reflect its warp destination. Oh, we can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant's deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we can model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. The towers. Okay. This would be giant's deep. Uh. I'll say that's dark ramble. The ash, you know, the uh, uh, hourglass twins, uh, the sun. Okay, the sun is incredibly spiky. Warp tower. Uh, what's the brittle hollow? I think that's what that one is. Okay. Okay. What? That's supposed to be a geyser? They do not have a warp tower to Dark Bramble. Where is the pity? Because... Oh yeah, it does represent a geyser mount, that makes sense. And I guess that can kind of look like the, the trees or the hills or whatever. But yeah, why... There's nothing that they'd want from... Okay. 
toasty marshmallows. I mean, there's something called the Sun Project that I've found, so, like, warping to the sun makes a bit of sense. I should probably get it. Okay, I prepared, but, uh, Ship is very far away right now. Ooh, that's let's get back in here. Yeah, I was about to wonder about that, but I was kind of uh, afraid to poke it, because uh, I don't know what to what, because I can remove these warp cores. I think these are the... Uh, Okay, I would need a... But... Let's... The fucking... They're all over the place. I know our ship has some, and again, the Harthians have taken some know my technology for uh, they have like integrated in various places. So I know the ship, like. Yeah, that, you know, the Harthians went into space, found you no know, my artifacts, and were able to, like, learn from them. Or be able to at least put it, like, into their own designs. Oh. No, I should probably turn off the power to the time thing. Actually, that said, 
uh, what was I gonna say? Well, I should probably leave. And say hello to a friend. Er, I don't know if I'd call them a friend, but... Someone familiar. Um, is that, is that not a spoiler or something? Because I don't remember learning about that. About the shard, I mean. find out any other time. It's not contained in the game elsewhere. Oh, okay. Where would I have uh, had a poke to find that out? I'm partially guessing it's like it was just one small thing I would have to like find. The stars! Wait, actually give me a second to drink some water. Oh boy, he's he's not having a good time. The, the stars, they're all dying. They've been too many supernovae for it to be anything else. Word next, you under, do you understand? Our son, by the hearth name, word next. I wish I can give him a hug. You have to say specific series of dialogue options to how. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Hall's your friend. It's the stars you see. All, all the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our sun, it... The star charts, why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but no, oh no, no. I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have, and now our son's about to. He's about to. I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. You know what? That's fair, my man. That's fair, my man. Yeah, I noticed too earlier on the previous run that uh, a lot of stars were going supernova. Like, okay, that's Brittle Hollow, I believe. Where's my ship? Yeah, my ship is on the other side, the literal other side of, side of the planet. Um, let's try to get to it. Just because if... be uncomfortable during the, uh... Yep. This is two solar panels. Ah, 
Now this feels odd to say, but the first two, you know, the first few times going through this game. Hello. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, yeah, the first I'm used to hearing this so often. Feels weird. To have gone so long without hearing it. So it's kind of like a strange friend in a way. And also, I'm trying to be dramatic, but like Giant Steep is having a rave on it. But yeah. Crunches. Okay, no, yeah, that that actually does sound right. <sighs> All right. What time is it? Let's see, it's about ten. Ah, <sighs> this is the weird thing. I feel like I could keep going. So what direction did that explode? I didn't see it. It exploded right into a uh, giant steam. Uh, do I have? No, it. Yeah, I was thinking of ending the stream, but before I, I make that decision, let's see if it's on the city's mark. I think part of me still wants to go back there. I haven't explored everything in there, and also, neither ship. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, I still need to go back there. There is something I'm missing. except for a single bit of fun we can do at the high energy lab. I think I'll probably poke that. Okay. And I get to see the tower designs. Alright. No mice successfully reproduced. The temporal anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. The no mice discover they can increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to warp to the warp course. The gnome I wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it required new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. The Ash Twin was proposed in location for this project. Uh, designs for each of the towers in Ash Twin's equator. Each, oh, okay, each tower warps to a different planet, although many Nomai were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower is designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between the Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22-minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Energy lab science. Hmm. It's on the city. 
there's more to explore here. Yeah, I figured there's more to explore there. I'm not too surprised. Done to fuck with it during that moment. Oh, okay, I think I have an idea. Oh, and... Uh, Chert has spotted an unusually high number of supernovae recently. All the stars in the universe are dying, including our sun. Chert has become catatonic in response to our sun's infant death. Oh boy. Delightful. Hmm. You know what? I think before I... And I forgot to put on my suit. Yeah. Yeah. That said, I kind of feel like. Yeah, I kind of feel like stopping for now. Because we made some progress. It's been like two hours. Excuse me? I say I keep saying I want to like stop the stream, but this game is really fun. But at the same time, I'm feeling a bit tired. <laughs> um, that's a, no, and I think we can get back to the high energy levels. Uh, like fast enough. Oh, I mean, technically I can use the, the let's see here, high energy lamps, uh, what all, yeah, there's no real shortcut to the high energy lamps, other than get there. to end the stream on like the very dramatic end times, but you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out. I'll probably make a highlight of that because that was honestly, and definitely gonna be a lot that I want to to uh, like give I think there was some text that I missed uh, like definitely there was some text that I missed on the way down here because I just kind of rocketed
Yeah, well, the person that I bought. Yes, I, I'm. Thank you for using the term I made up for. Uh, uh, how am I forgetting their name? How did I forget their name? Uh, Voltsbar? Esker, yeah. Esker. Just this very. This elderly person that's just kind of left on the moon to just. <laughs> like, hey, we, we have a uh, repair station here, but then, like, vehicles are sturdier and don't need to be repaired, so they're just kind of stuck there. And it's just like, we, we left. <laughs> And, like, that, yeah, just Esker had, like, really, like, the vibes kind of had, like, of a, a lonely grandparent, and, um, like, that we, they left Thampa on the moon. <laughs> and also, I wish this wasn't a time-based thing. It is not really, not really interesting. Oh, oh! I have some ideas. Are you? From the I am not from the UK. Please. Also, someone needs to talk to Esker about using the signal scope to listen on listen on to people's conversations. That's just frankly rude. And also, you know, invasion privacy. But like you know, one thing at a time. What? Tell me who. Oh, the scout. Okay. Here, that's the danger zone with the ghost matter crystals. This is the rock. For a second, I, 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 I kid you not, I thought that was an eye, like with the uh. I was an eye for a second. I was incredibly distressed. <laughs> uh. Alright. I'm back. And I'm, I'm here to cause all sorts of trouble. Cause trouble. Uh no. Okay. That said, I still know how to cause trouble, I think.
And I know that was two black holes, but I was wondering what would happen. I was like, oh, would it be, like, really powerful or something? I was hoping I could chuck this in there. <laughs> I mean... I got <laughs> Okay, this holy cow. <laughs> we did it. We we beat the game. The kazoo. <laughs> We did it. We beat the game. <laughs> okay, you know what? This, I, I was trying to be dramatic earlier in how in the stream, but no, that, that was that's how my stream should. <laughs> I was expecting. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wow. 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 But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the stream on the this <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah. 
Good night, everyone. That was bonkers. Ugh. <laughs>